in what's going on fam fontaine here vip soundlab.com back on machine 2.1 the new software update for your native instruments machina now what i'm going to be doing in this video is i'm going to show you how you can drag and drop your midi using the new group midi batch setup i'm going to be doing sounds to midi channels of course you can do sounds to midi notes for instruments if you want to have all your midi notes that you're playing in your instrument to be dropped into your DAW. Now you can do the same feature sounds to many notes with your drum tracks, but it's going to be just one big, you know, hodgepodge like this. Me, I like a little more control over my drums. So I'm doing sounds to many channels and just a quick VIP tip uh, on this computer. I'm on a PC. I'm using windows eight. If you hold down your control key and just grab your scene, you can drop it in and duplicate your scenes. So that makes life really easy when you want to just go ahead and duplicate a scene. So again, control, drag, and that makes a really super fast and easy way to duplicate your scenes. So I'm going to right click that and clear that because I don't need it. And we're going to go back to our little MIDI loop here. So what I want to do is get this uh, tracked out in persona. So let's go ahead and get that set up. What you want to do is you want to be on your channel properties. You want to be under sound input your MIDI. Here's your active channels. What I'm going to do since I have eight sounds, I'm going to go to the first sound. I'm going to hold down my shift key, highlight my last key. As you can see, all the sounds highlight again, you have the new hover feature here where when you hover your, uh, your mouse over your sounds, you see that you get the levels and the pants, you know, so that's another cool feature about that. I want to change all these to active. All the MIDI channels are now active. Basically what that's doing is on your mixer screen, it's activating your MIDI inputs. So your MIDI inputs here are the exact same thing as this active button here. Okay. Channel. Let's do this the fast way. I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to change all these to two. So I'm going to jump this guy. I can jump up to three real quick. Bring this one to four. Oh, wait a minute. I have them all highlighted still. That's not going to work. Let's bring this back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and track eight. Okay. So now we got the housekeeping out the way and you could double check your work. As long as your, uh, your MIDI inputs are lining up in a chronological and sequential order as it's doing here is counting down from one to eight, you double check your work. Again, you make sure in your channel properties, MIDI active. And from that point, you're pretty much good to go. We'll go over here and we will grab our little MIDI icon here. Now this screen is getting a little crowded here. So I'm going to do it like this. As you can see, it makes this little uh, MIDI icon here and we'll drag our sounds over like this. Okay. So from this point, we're going to take machine, put it on a blank scene because you don't want to trigger the same MIDI notes when you're inside your, uh, your host DAW environment. And it looks like we have the little housekeeping here as far as getting this cleaned up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got that out the way. This track doesn't need to be armed. Now, from this point, you have two ways that you actually can do this. And one way that you can do it, you can use the inspector view here. And when you go over here to your uh, channels, for example, you can go to machine. So from that point, you can set up your MIDI channels, whether from the inspector view or from this little lane over here. So just for the sake of the video, to make this a lot quicker, I'll just do it from this lane right here. So let's go ahead and get this set up right quick. And again, you just go down in a nice sequential and chronological order. Basically what you're doing is you're setting up your MIDI inputs to machine. So you're just counting them off. And let's go to five here. Six here. We'll go to seven here and last but not least, we'll go to channel eight here. All right. So now all the MIDI information 
is in our little uh, editor field here inside Personas, and we have all the MIDI inputs set up correctly. So now the only thing we have to do is go to our host DAW and use the host transport control and press play. All right, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna hold it up right there. This is Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Be sure to come by the website, www.VIPSoundLab.com. The sounds that you're hearing is from our new Dirty Drums drum kit. And this actual file is in the demo. If you wanna head over to the website and download, you know, this particular session, and you know, if you wanna jump in here and experiment with it and tear it apart and see how we got some things set up in there. You know, if you like the drum kit, head over to the website 